not only can we um, just draw lines by eye, but we can actually type in measurements, you know, and of course we can. That's what, you know, drafting in CAD is all about. So if I click the line tool or type in line or L, when I select the first point, you'll see that it's actually telling me, if we look at that closely, how long that line is. So it's at, you know, right now 42 feet, four and a quarter inches, for example. Well, what if I actually want to tell CAD how long I want that line to be? Well, at this point, I could just type in 50 and enter. Now, if I do that and I'm in an architectural imperial scale, what I've just done is create a 50 inch line. Remember when you're making lines, CAD wants to chain them. So that line is 50. So I could pull the mouse down and type in 50 enter and then pull it this way and say 50 enter and so on to get out of that line command I'll just hit enter a second time so what I've done here is drawn a line that's 50 inches by 50 inches by 50 inches here I'll just click and delete that so if I do a line I click my first point and let go I pull the mouse out and I tell it how long I want it to be. If I don't put in any marks, it defaults to inches. So if I want to make a line, let's say, you know, 10 feet, I will do 10 with the little foot mark, enter. So that line is now 10 feet long. I'll hit enter again to end that command. So I'll do line, begin the line, pull my mouse out the direction I want it to go, and I will say 15 feet, enter, and enter again to end the command. So this line is 10 feet long, this one is 15 feet. If I want to do something with a fraction, I will click where I want the line to start, pull the mouse out, maybe I want this line to be 15 feet, six inches. So I can do 15 with the foot mark, six inches, enter. Okay, so this line is just slightly longer than the one above it. When I'm actually creating lines, I can say 15 feet six, and I actually don't have to put the inch mark because it's defaulting to inches. So I can simply do 15 feet six, enter, and it's the same thing as the one I just previously did. If we're getting a little more specific, if I'm typing in, let's say 15 feet, six and a half inches, I have a few options. So I can do 15 feet, six, and then 0.5 for six and a half inches. Or I could do 15 feet, six, but to do a fraction, what I have to do is a little hyphen there, and then a one over two. Okay, so take a look at that. If you want to type in fractions of an inch, you have to put in that little hyphen right here, because hitting the space bar is the same as hitting enter, so you can't put a space in there. So when I hit enter, you'll see that that's the measurement that I created. Okay, so it's all about getting more and more specific as we're moving down here. Now, if you put in a measurement and you can't quite remember what you did or if you wanna check if it's right, on the Home tab, on the ribbon, way over to the right, you'll see we have a tool called Measure. There's different options here, but the first one is called Distance. It looks like a little ruler. What we can do is actually measure a line. But how are we going to do that? You know, if I try to hover over this, how am I ever going to get either end of this line? What we're going to do is use a function called object snap. So down at the bottom where we happen to have ortho on, you'll see that we have object snap here, just a little ways over. It looks like a box with a little sparkle or flare in the corner. When I turn object snap on or O snap, when I hover over the endpoints of my line, you'll see that I get this green box and it kind of pulls my mouse there. So I can click here 
and then you'll see down in the command line and say specify the second point or I could do multiple points but right now we're just going to do these two I can click again and now it's telling me down at the bottom that along my x-axis so that's this one right here it's the horizontal one my line is 15 feet six and a half inches and that's what I put in okay so that's a very simple way to check your measurements you just need to make sure you have object snap or O snap on